All right, so now I'm gonna connect my S3 front here to my new Note 10 Plus. Now the first thing I do, this is currently connected to my Note 9. So I'm gonna do a full reset on the watch itself. So here you need to connect to a new phone and that will erase this watch. Now that's what you gotta do every time you hook it up. Also, that's really gonna drain the battery, so I'm gonna put it on the charger while I do that. All right, so now on the Note 10 Plus, the Wear app will already be installed. Now if you have a Samsung device, this is pre-installed. If you don't have a Samsung device, you'd have to install it. So now we have that. We're gonna start the journey. S3. And we're gonna obviously allow access. Turn it on. Yeah, allow, allow, allow. It's got to access your calls and contacts, of course. I have the LTE version from T-Mobile of the S3 Frontier. So there you go, you can see it's it recognizes everything. Now we're pairing up. Again, make sure you charge the the watch. Uh, so I'll give you this little how to use option. I've had the watch plenty of times, so don't worry about it. Click on this notification settings. Sometimes you do this too fast, you gotta redo it again. Yeah, so it's not gonna work. So let's just give it a second and then we'll set it up. Alright, so now it says the watch is paired. Congrats on your new S3. Obviously, it's not new to me, but. So, again, my watch has the LTE version, so some of these settings you may not have on yours. I'll check for a backup, it never works. Alright, so I'm gonna blur this part out. This is the phone number for my watch. It's wanting to forward it. Uh, and my watch has my. So this watch has an email account on it. The email is my work email, so it's trying to make me set a pin on here. I'm gonna see if I can get around that. Of course, I want the pin on my phone, but my watch, I don't. I uh, don't need tips. I don't need that. I will have updates available. So you can see if you go to watch faces, you can change it. You know, as soon as you change one, it changes there. But I tend to go to this one by default. Uh, I also like to change I want to double tap to go to music and I want if I look at apps I don't care about monster vampires. We're going to uninstall that. So I just turned off the email and I'm going to see how that works. Because I don't want the pin on my watch. That's annoying. So I have a bunch of updates. I'm going to update all of them. You got to allow and download. And then it's going to make you reboot once you get the time updated. So we're updating these. Again, this is going to drain the battery pretty harshly on the watch. And I also like to go to the store. If I look at all my apps from the watch, I can see apps I've had in the past. And I always like to download stopwatch and timer. Those apps I use a lot. Calculator's kind of neat, but I never actually use it. So it keeps wanting me to... So there's a little trick. If you have your work email tied to the Samsung email account, and your work forces a... has mobile device management and forces a password on your phone, it will in turn force it on your watch. Now, so if you don't use this email account and you use Gmail or something else, you don't have to do that. So I'm gonna wonder if I can just 
Because you can't uninstall that one, can you? So now I'm uninstalling this email account, this email app, and that should make that lock go away. So now I uninstalled that email address and it does not make me lock my watch. Well now I can go back and change it to none. I couldn't before. So now it shouldn't lock uh, because I've removed that email account that's forcing that on you. Like I said, you can be using Gmail and it still forces your phone to lock but won't force your watch to lock. The reason it does that is because you have these, I have the LTE version so you have apps and it has the email account on here. So it's enforcing those policies on the watch itself. Uh, but now so you can see if I hit the weather, I'm going to allow access. So now I should be able to see my weather. And on here, you can set your location up. Uh, I refresh mine every hour. Yeah, oh, that's what I want. Oh, there you go. So you can see my watch. My watch. Weather. Uh, let's go back. Yeah, and so they're all looking pretty good here. You can edit your quick responses so that way. Uh, you know, if someone sends you a message on the watch, like say I'm driving, I can just quickly tap the watch and send it back, or if I'm at a meeting or something. You know, whatever you want to do, you can just set your watch that way, right? And I also set my, all my notifications to come through. Alright, so we'll try it out, and I'll update you. So, thanks for checking me out.